Hi guys, and welcome to iGameOver channel. Today we'll be talking about hard drives, and as you probably noticed, it's a little bit different format than before. I decided the, to change the format because, well, simply because I switched from Mac to Windows and certain technologies are no longer available for me. But I hope you'll enjoy it all the same. So anyway, hard drives. Today we're talking about uh, what they do and how to use them. So basically a hard drive is a, a little piece of technology in your computer that uh, stores all your programs and uh, files permanently, right? So unlike RAM in the previous um, tutorial, uh, this actually stores your files permanently. So it's actually pretty important to get it right. And uh, basically the hard drives nowadays tend to split into two different categories. You have uh, HDDs, which are hard drives, actual hard drives with spinning disks and laser that reads them. And then you have an SSD, which has no moving parts. It's basically like a humongous USB stick, if you will. And um, they all have uh, good points to them. I mean, if you look at more traditional hard drives, they have, um, they have uh, really big capacities and they come in cheap. Um, but because they have moving parts, they are more prone to some sort of damages and failures and so on and so on. Well, SSD no longer has these limitations and it's also much, much quicker, but at the cost of um, smaller storage capacities and, um, well, let's say it's uh, significantly more expensive. Now, um, HDDs come in two different forms, right? And um, they are either two and a half inch for the hard drives, which are mainly used in notebooks, or three and a half inch drives, which are mainly used in desktops. SSDs will come in two and a half inch size, which can, which is used for both notebooks and um, and desktops, which is basically a standard, right? Because there were some uh, companies that was trying that were trying to do three and a half inch SSDs, but this really didn't catch on. There's also this new standard that is called M.2 or PCIe mm, format, but again, really expensive for now because this is a new technology, it's super, super quick. So if you can afford it, you get it, right? Now, basically, if you can afford it, the best strategy is to have a smaller SSD drive as your main drive for your system, you know, a few games maybe, um, some basic programs that you use and then HDD to store your files, photos, music, videos, etc, etc, right? I personally use a 512 uh, gigabyte SSD as a main drive and 2 terabyte HDD to you know, store my files. Now, it is not as expensive as it sounds because the SDDs are not as expensive as they used to be. One thing to remember is that Maybe SSDs are not as prone to damage as they used to be, or as HDDs are, but they can still break. So, always, always invest in some sort of backup drive, okay? Be it internal in your computer, or external, you know, via USB, or maybe even NAS, you know, network attached storage. So, um, so basically that's it. Um, there are no major performance differences between manufacturers, just always go for a good brand. Um, don't listen to people saying that, you know, Western Digital is crap, but Seagate is good. Because, you know, in my opinion and in my experience, uh, both of them are good, right? I mean, I never had problems with uh, Western Digital until a couple of years ago and then I switched to Seagate and I never had problems but I have friends that use Western Digital still and they have no problems whatsoever so you know it's really a little bit down to your luck um, but like I said because it's a little bit down to your luck and manufacturers don't provide you with warranties okay to you know as a well they do provide you with warranties but not they will not recover your data if your hard drive fails okay so um so basically yeah backup 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 okay don't say i didn't warn you okay always use backup so anyway uh, now 
I will sort of put you a little bit on the screen so you can see uh, how different types of drives look. And I hope you enjoyed this video. More will come soon. I promise sooner than this time. I mean, last, you know, last break was a little bit larger, but, you know, life happens. Um, so, yeah, soon there will be more videos to follow. And also, I'm launching a new channel that is called Life Hacks. I will post the link to it below the video. Check it out. There will be some very interesting life hack, um, you know, real life hacks uh, for you how to do stuff easier, right? Basically to make life easier. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and the like video if you like it and stay tuned for more. Have a nice day. Bye.